Greetings friends and welcome back to Kerbo Space Program! Today I'm going to show you how to make an SSTO and for those of you who don't know what that means, it's single stage two orbit. That means I can just take off, I don't have to worry about staging or rockets, I don't have to decouple anything, I can fly right into space, I can orbit, I can re-enter and land back at the runway. I can even dock at space stations, you can see I have these RCS ports kind of all over, a little bit of RCS fuel. Oh, I. I just realized I don't have a docking port. I should fix that. There we go. That'll work. So basically, I have a minimum of parts. I have a rapier engine. This is two modes. It can be air breathing and breathe air through an intake like a jet, or you can switch it and it can burn oxidizer and liquid fuel like a rocket. It goes both ways. I have a small tank here with all the oxidizer removed to save weight and a bigger tank here with oxidizer and liquid fuel for the rocket part. Basically, this is just the fuel for the jet stage and this is the fuel for the rocket stage various control surfaces and wings, a little bit of RCS fuel, and you can see if I turn this on down here lower left, center of lift is behind the center of mass, that'll make it quite stable, and the RCS thrusters are sort of equidistant on either side of the center of mass, that'll make them thrust more evenly, it'll be easier to maneuver. I just kind of put cheap wheels on the back, a little retractable one on the front, it kind of looks kind of goofy, it's really, really simple. It's only got a few parts, 24 parts, good, small, and light, and it flies. Let's give it a shot. Here we are on the runway. On the runway. I don't have to check my staging. It's only one thing, so let's go. Taking off nice and naturally. You retract the nose gear. Looks kind of goofy with these two little wheels sticking out of the back. Hope that's not a problem. This isn't exactly a tested vehicle. It tested something similar, but not this one. Pull up! To really get up to speed, you have to climb pretty high, like 10,000 meters. This is a thick, soupy atmosphere. It's not all that easy to try pushing through it, you know. Our pilot sure is enjoying the ride, though. Look at that smile. Yeah, just having a good time. Okay, we're above 10,000. I'm gonna probably level it out, get some speed going. Our speed is drastically climbing. Look at that. It's going up. Thrust to weight ratio is going up, too. Get a lot more power as we're going fast. These these ramjet engines, when you go faster, more air gets rammed in the front, hence the name. And you get more power out the back, up up to a point. Okay, we're getting up to speed. We're on fire, a little bit. Almost up to a thousand meters a second. Faster and faster. Oh, the sun's burning us up. No, just kidding. That's air, air resistance, or shock heating. Please don't explode, please don't explode. Oh, we have ceased accelerating. I think we've gone above where we actually get enough air for the jet to work. Pretty soon it's gonna shift, you'll see. It'll, it'll switch to rocket mode. And any day now. Oh, I didn't. I don't have an on auto. My bad. Pilot error. And apoapsis. 100,000 meters. That's good. Now we're just gonna coast. Oh, it's dropping. Stupid wind resistance. Physics breaking my space plane. Wait for it. Almost there. Close. And space. We're in space. Okay, as we're approaching the apoapsis, it would be a good time to test out these thrusters. Woo, they work. Yay! Works quite well, I might add. Wait. I just realized I should have put these thrusters on the sides, not top and bottom. I can't move sideways. Huh. Engineering error! Okay, I'm not perfect. Okay, let's circularize this orbit. And fire rocket engines! Ooh, look at the thrusters go. And orbit. Circular-ish. Close enough. Ta-da! Kind of circular. Let's enjoy our time in space with a few orbits. Okay, let's burn retrograde a bit. Maybe we can uh, land back at the space center. That would be good, right? Get periapsis back in the atmosphere. I don't have a lot of oxidizer, so I don't want to. I don't want to go reckless on the burning. I'll use up all my fuel and I'll be stuck in space. Eh, screw it. Full power. Time warp ahead. Uh, those are really hot. They just aren't cooling off. Wings, wings are important. We don't want those burning up. The sun. It's so beautiful. Okay, re-entering atmosphere. Our pilot's still smiling. That's good. I'm gonna pull a space shuttle trick. The the space shuttle didn't just fall back into the atmosphere. It came in with its nose pointed up at a at a angle of attack. So the wind hitting the bottom of the wing slowed it down enough that it wouldn't uh, go real deep in the atmosphere, going really fast and burn everyone to death. We're gonna try to do a similar thing. Otherwise, I'm gonna start losing a lot of parts here. I think this rear landing gear is already pretty hot. It's probably a bad call bolting those right to the rocket engine. Well, live and learn, right? Maybe she won't live, but I'll learn. That's all that matters. And here's where the RCS can really help. 
I can use the thrusters to keep the nose up. As the wind wants to point us back down, uh, the thrusters will fight against it. Still re-entering slowly. This takes a long time. Gotta do it gently or you die for some reason. That's the thing with space travel. No room for no room for error. Except in my space program, I error all the time. So far only one person died, that's all. Looks like we're gonna go down somewhere around the space center. We're probably gonna go down sooner because of wind resistance slowing us down. But we this is still a plane and I still have a jet. So I can fly anywhere I want. Jets are a lot more efficient burning the fuel. Plus, I don't have to carry a bunch of their oxygen. They get it from the air. Ah, oh, the nose is really high. I think that's because the, the plane is trying to point the same direction, but the planet's curving beneath us. Yay, we're climbing back up! Looks like the angle of attack kind of worked. We'll slow down some more. Doesn't work forever. Falling back down. Maybe we'll drop the nose a bit. Not too much. Not that much. wonder how high I can get the angle of attack. That's it? Alright, whatever. I give up. I'm surprised how long the thruster fuel has lasted. These are going non-stop and I haven't even used it all up yet. Behold the moonrise! Oh, we're on fire. We're on fire. We're heating up. Heating up. Still not turning the engine on. We're just coasting. We have all this speed. A little bit off center. Save me, wings! Fun fact, the space shuttle came in with no power. It didn't have any. It just glided down. If they were off course, they would have been screwed. It only came in off course in that one movie. I think it was called The Core. Think I can do it in this view? You're right, I can't. That'd be crazy. I don't want to crash and die. I think it's time to try the obligatory barrel roll. Should I try it? Do a barrel roll! Or, or fail! A fail roll! A feral roll? That doesn't sound right. It's kind of hard to do an actual barrel roll on a keyboard. You know in Star Fox when they said, do a barrel roll and you did this? That's not actually a barrel roll. Well, we'll let that slide because Star Fox is awesome. We're pretty much lined up. We're coming in for our final landing. Oh, gentle. Ah, uh. Gonna, is gonna roll? Oh, no, 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 oh, oh, no, no, don't land crooked. Ah, okay, okay. So hard to fly with a keyboard. Okay, flare. Oh, I didn't have the landing gear down. Ah, that was a bad idea. I almost killed her on, on the landing. Okay, slow down, slow down, and gentle touchdown. Yay! We did it. For once, I didn't break the thing. We still have a lot of fuel left. Maybe we should try going straight up. I wonder how high we can go. Might as well just go, right? Big mistake! Ah, we're gonna die! Ah! Ah! physics breaking my space plane.